everybody. How y'all doing today? Hope you're doing good. Today I want to talk to you about my SHTF Survival Food Bucket. This is a five gallon bucket and I got it full of food. How much would you pay for a five gallon bucket full of food if you were starving to death? Would you pay a million dollars? I bet you would. I would too if I had it. I want to open my bucket up and show you what I got in it. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost a thing. I sure would appreciate it. All right, let me get over here and open my bucket up. All right, let me show you what I've got inside my bucket. But first, let me explain something to you. Uh, I put this together, sort of, an experiment. I just wanted to see if, if I could put several days worth of food in a five-gallon bucket and how hard it would be. I wanted something that real cheap. I wanted something that would last me several days. And I wanted something that I could just grab and go. Uh, and I think I found it. Uh, I've got everything in here except water. I would have to get water some someplace else. Either have me another bucket full of water or find water. In my situation, uh, it'd probably be easier to find water than it would to find food. Uh, you can always go down to a river or a creek or something like that around here and get water. But uh, you can't just run pick up food in an emergency situation. And like I said, this is a survival food. This is not like you're eating steak and lobster every meal. This is survival. So, I think I put together a pretty good little package here for me. Now, everybody's bucket would be different if you wanted to do one. And, of course, your, your bucket would have different things in it than mine. Uh, you may not like potty meat or, or vein sausage or something like that. Well, you just would put something else in your bucket. And, like, my wife's bucket would be different from mine. But, I think I've done good on this. Let me show you what I've got. Uh, one thing I did put in there was instant coffee, and I couldn't use that unless I did have water. And I did put in a, a cigarette lighter so I could build a fire, heat up some water in one of my cans, and uh, make some coffee. And I've got got my silverware. Got to have a silverware set. Got a fork and a spoon. That's all I would need. Uh, one really important thing that you need in the bucket is can opener. If you got a bucket full of canned goods, if you can't open it up, then uh, you lost really. You got to have a good can opener. You'd probably pay a million dollars for a, <laughs> a can opener if you couldn't open your food and you were starving to death. Uh, uh, I've got I got some crackers in mine. Uh, this is one item that I would have to rotate out pretty regular. Crackers don't last that long. They last two or three months, but uh, I'll be rot rotating these out. Uh, and I've got several packs of this tuna, different flavors of tuna. I got a different flavor for every day. I've got several packs of it, so I could live a while on, on tuna. Uh, that and my crackers. I'd probably run out of crackers before I run out of tuna. But, uh, and then I got a six pack of potted meat. I like potted meat. I need it with crackers. Uh, I've got some uh, pork and beans too. Uh, 
Growing up, I used to work in the woods a lot, and we'd eat pork and beans and potted meat and crackers for lunch. That'd be our lunch. Now, every once in a while, we'd really splurge, and we'd have a can of Viennese and a can of soup or something to go with it, too. But I got some soup in there. I got several cans of soup, because that's, that's that chunky soup. That's, that's a meal right there. If you had to make it a meal, I do. And you could open this one up. This one got a pop tart. I don't really like those. Most of them, you got to have a can opener. That's why I've got a can opener in here. But uh, you could heat this up. Uh, got some more Viennese. I'll tell you what, let me get all this stuff out of it here, and I'll make one shot and show you all of what I've got. Well, it won't take just a minute to set it out. Got some applesauce. Uh, got some fruit cocktail. You gotta have dessert. You gotta look at it this way. It could be your last meal here. You gotta eat good. <laughs> got a canned ham. Uh, more beans. Can of lunch meat. Soup. 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 More soup, more pork and beans, and chili. All right, let me get over here. Right, as you can see, you can get a good bit of food in a five-gallon bucket. You really can. You really plant it right. I just wanted to run that by you and show you what you could get in a five-gallon bucket. Like I said, you wouldn't be eating steak and lobster every day, but in a survival situation, you could take your bucket, get away from everybody, and survive for several days. Something to think about, folks. It really is. We're living in troubled times right now. We really are. You may want to think about putting your few buckets together. Thanks a lot, everybody. I appreciate you watching my videos. I really do. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you on the next video.